you how to install the WebEx client. And we want to start here because as a presenter, the WebEx client provides us more options and features than just running a WebEx from a, the website rather than from the client. So it's not a hard process. I'm going to walk you through it just a couple of steps to follow here. We're going to start out by going to fzsd.webex.com. On this site, we'll be able to download the client and you'll see some other stuff, but really it's the download that we're worried about. And we're going to log in using our email address. Everything is synced with the system, uh, with Gmail and with our computer login. So it's a fairly simple process. On this page, uh, on the right-hand side, this blue button here for sign in, go ahead and click on that and put in your email address. I'm logging in as John Zumwalt here, and I'm going to click on the next button. And you're going to get, get taken to another login screen here. Um, so you put in your email address again. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't bring that part over. Um, but the nice thing here is this is synced with our system, and this is the part that actually provides that authentication. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my password when I can type it correctly, and then uh, click on next. And there we go. I'm not going to save my password. We should remember our passwords. We don't need to save those in Chrome. So here we are. We're logged in. Um, there's a lot of different features here. There's information about our personal room and different things. But what we want is downloads. So on the left hand side, under we're going to click on downloads, and uh, we want up here at the top the Cisco WebEx Meetings desktop app. We're going to click on the download button for that. And that's going to download the application that we want to install on our Windows machine. Once that's downloaded, down here at the bottom, we can see that this is downloaded and ready to install. I'm just going to click on that. And that's going to start the install process. We can just next through this, uh, agree to the license agreement, click install. And this, just a moment, we want to allow this app to be installed on this device. Uh, it'll go through the process, install the application, and then we'll be able to go from there. Um, once the, the app is installed, um, we'll be able to join WebEx meetings that we schedule through Google Calendar, various things like that. We can start personal room meetings. Um, without any additional settings that we would have to use. We really don't have to come back to this website for much of anything. Uh, this install is done, so I'm going to click on the Finish button. And now the WebEx Meetings app comes up. We know it's installed. We need to sign in. So our email address is already populated here. I'm going to click on Next. That's going to take us into the next step here. Um, it's going to ask me to log in once again. Preferably with the correct login information is always good. Again, it is your full email address and your password when you go to log into this. Um, that is now installed. I'm logged into it. It's running. I have no upcoming or scheduled meetings, but I have my app installed. So now we can talk about scheduling meetings and actually presenting WebEx meetings and moving on from there. So that is the install process. That gets the client installed. Pretty simple. You only have to do this once, and then it's ready for you for any future.